group of users, right? They're out there going, please, give me something that I can do. I want to do the right thing. And they do. Our users want to do the right thing. But they've got all the pressures that are coming on down from them, from their line managers, their organizational entities, their other corporate functions, and, and what we want them to do always gets kind of sidelined and, and prioritized less. So the transformation of value is that we're going to now start transferring ownership and accountability to everyone. So what does that do to our ratio? All of a sudden, it's not us versus them. It's the we're all in this together, okay? And in the ownership transfer, that process means we're all in this, okay? So it's thinking like a team and acting like a team. And that doesn't just happen with words, okay? That's an empty slogan if you don't do the actions behind it to make that transformation process. So we want to transfer ownership. And what's really incredibly powerful about that, it's 100% scalable. Because it's on an individual basis, we scale at a positive one. Okay, so we don't have to think about, well, if my organization does an M&A with that organization and we just added 10,000 people to our workforce, how many new people do we need to have in our records and information management function despite, you know, we're back to the ratio thing again. Okay, so it's entirely scalable. It's also measurable because if you start setting standards for behavior that you're going to put into the accountability matrix, if you will, all of that's measurable. So you measure what you want people to do. Oh, that means we need to decide what we want people to do. Okay? And what I see happening in a lot of organizations is we publish the policy and we build the standards and the guidelines and the procedures and all of those things and we present it to the organization and they read it, and we hope, we think, but do we ever say to them exactly, this is exactly what I need you to do, scripting that set of behaviors. There's a textbook, uh, not a textbook, a, um, a business book that's called Switch. Has anybody read Switch? Uh, by Chip Heath and Dan Heath. They also wrote Made to Stick. And within that um, text, it's a change management book. It's an organization transformation book with lots of great examples and things way outside of business, but into culture and society and some really fun um, case studies. But he talks about the concept of building a destination postcard. I love that for our industry. If I could send all of you a postcard of this transformation, where we've transferred ownership and accountability to everyone, we're fully scalable, and everybody's um, results are measurable, what does that postcard look like? Could you come up with an image, what that might look like? And then what you do is you script the moves to the destination. Okay? We do that all the time. If we're planning a vacation, scripting the moves means taking the steps. How much is it going to cost? When are we going to go? Let's make reservations. What do we want to do? That's scripting the move to the destination. But until we start thinking about this from a transformation destination component, we don't really script the moves to our end state. And so that's where we're going to go through that process. We also need to make sure that what we're doing aligns with the business objectives and goals of our organization and individuals. Okay, that was discussed in some of the keynotes presentations this morning. I mean, there's business processes that generate revenue for organizations and we have to be in alignment with what they're doing and introduce the competencies of making them better at what they do. And individually, what people want, I mean, you throw out the words like, I'm gonna make you productive and effective and efficient. I don't know what productive, effective and efficient means. Okay, you're asking me now to translate that. So what I'm going to tell people is, I want you to have quicker access to the information you need to do your job. What information do you need to do your job? Tell me. Where is it? How do you get to it today? How can we get to it faster? I want you to be able to count on the information that you find, that it's the latest version, that it's got a history of who's made changes to it. But if other people need to get to it, they too can collaborate. And all of a sudden, we're into features of the tool. But we're not talking about a tool. We're talking about individual benefits. So what do people want? I have four words. Fast, easy, usable, and useful. 